Hi there, welcome to this video. Um, all about smart thermostats and how we can install and set them up. These installations are typically more involved and as I suggested earlier, you might want to look at some kind of a qualified smart thermostat installer such as an electrician or a heating professional. But anyway, I want to run through what we did here at the O'Driscoll household. Um, so first of all, I've broken it into different steps and without further ado, let's just go straight into step one, which is the installation of the relay. So typically your smart thermostat comes in a couple of parts and the first part is going to be all about the installation of the relay. Now, before we proceed with the installation of the relay, it is absolutely critical that you turn the power off. So the power needs to be off, number one. The second step that is typically involved is you need to open the boiler to access the electrical controls. Um, and again, if you're not comfortable or not qualified to do any of this, I urge you to get a professional to do it for you, i.e. electrician or heating professional, uh, highly recommended. The third element of the, I suppose, the wiring into the boiler and the relay is you need to identify terminals for the power, um, firstly, and secondly, you will need to identify the terminals that are used to interface with your relay, which in turn interfaces with the smart thermostat. Um, you need to wire up the, um, the terminals according to the instructions that come with the smart thermostat. Um, these instructions are in the box, so you need to follow that very, very closely. If you're not doing it, then your electrician will be doing that instead. And finally, when you're finished with that, I need you to manually, you or your electrician, whoever's doing the installation, needs to manually check that the relay is working. And that's typically done by turning a button on the relay, which uh, triggers um, the boiler. And obviously the power is back on at this particular stage. Now that we have finished installing the relay, we now need to pair the smart thermostat with the relay we've just installed. So that's quite simple, really. Um, all we need to do is install some batteries into the smart thermostat. And generally, that's quite straightforward. And once we do that, then the thermostat becomes live and it starts to go out there and looks for the relay across your home network. And you can see here in the video that it is finding it and has eventually found the relay. And once it does that, and it displays the room temperature that the thermostat is in and also any set point. So that is the second step, successful step in along the road to installing and getting your smart thermostat up and running. Now, we move nextly back to the app that comes with your smart thermostat, which is supplied by the manufacturer. Um, and in this particular demonstration, there is a product called Netatmo, and it requires that you initially sign up. So we will do that. So you put in your email address, obviously. Um, and secondly, you will put in a password, of course, that's typically required for security measures. So we will put in the password. And once the password is in, we accept the terms and conditions and any other prompt. And that will go back out onto the servers on the internet and will uh, set up our account. It prompts you for a uh, location, whether you allow or disallow. And again, notifications, whether you allow or disallow. Um, and from here, it looks to pair with the relay. In our case, the relay is flashing and it is currently searching for that particular relay. So it takes a little bit of time, but not anything of any significance. It has picked up a Netatmo smart thermostat. So we select one of those. It then starts to look into the whole area of your network and your home network and how it prepares to connect the smart thermostat and the relay to your home Wi-Fi network. You can see the importance of Wi-Fi here as I discussed earlier in the um, course. Again, it is looking to join our own network in here and it has 
joined successfully, as we can see. So the device has uh, joined successfully. Setup continues because it's connecting to the relay now. Um, and as we see, there's one last step to continue on. So we tap on the next button and it proceeds to set up the relay, which again is all part of the setup process. We have a firmware upgrade. So the software in the relay obviously requires some updating out of the box. It's rebooting the relay, um, which is pretty good standard practice. So it takes a little bit of time to reboot the relay. It's now setting up the relay and checking the connection. It applies a name and it states that we have now fully configured the relay. So we just tap on the OK button. Um, here we are then back to the manufacturer's app. And as you can see, our smart thermostat is fully set up. You can see this, the temperature level in the room of the thermostat. And obviously you can also see the set point. So there are the two points um, that we are controlling directly now with an app on my iPhone. It should also be clear that you can go into much more detailed configuration and control with the manufacturer's app, but um, that will not be covered in this particular video because I want to move back to the home app. So just let me recap on what we did in this particular video. First of all, we installed your relay, a relay, and the bits and pieces involved with that. And as I say, I urge you to consider using an electrician or a, a professional, certified professional to do elements of your install, if not the full install. We then went and we configured the um, smart thermostat on the uh, system and we got it to pair with the relay. And finally, we set it up on the application itself, the app that comes with your smart thermostat. Now, and the final, Thing you need to do the final step is you need to physically install and the way you install it will really depend on the thermostat that you're after purchasing but um, in my case this particular model allows me to put it um, on a flat location i.e anywhere um, in the in the house or you can mount it on the wall and i have decided to put it here on the kitchen table which is uh, where we have it as a standalone, but again, you can um, mount it on a bracket, which typically comes with your smart thermostat. So that is the general steps involved with getting a smart thermostat up and running. And I hope you enjoyed this particular video lesson. And I will talk to you in the next video, which we will talk about close integration with the home app and the home kit system. Okay, talk to you very, very soon.